Excess in the pre-stress beam is obtained based on the superpositions of the stresses caused by the axial force, bending, and eccentricity. These set the basic equations to determine the stresses developed in the beam. The compressive stress is calculated by dividing the pre-stressing loop with the cross-sectional area of the section. The bending stress is calculated by dividing the moment with the section moduli. As for the eccentricity, the pre-stressing loop is to be multiplied with the eccentricity divided by section moduli. The positive value represents compressions, while the negative value represents the tensions. The summations of these equations will give you a stress on top of the beam, which is this plus this minus this. As for the stresses at the bottom of the beam, it will be this minus this plus this. The section moduli here for the top beam, we are referring to the section moduli of the top beam. As for the section moduli for the bottom beam, is referring to here. It is calculated based on the equations. For a rectangular sections or sections which is symmetrical top and bottom, the section moduli at the top and the bottom will be the same. In the case that the section is not symmetrical from top and bottom, the Z top will be different from Z bottom. And thus, it shall be carefully used. The I here represents the second moment of inertia of the cross section. The factor alpha here represents the factor for the losses. It can be in the form of alpha or beta. Alpha refers to short-term losses, while beta refers to long-term losses. These factors are always to be accompanied with the pre-stressing load acting on the beam. As for the moment here, it can be in the form of moment minimum or moment maximum. The moment minimum refers to the moment acting on the beam at the transfer stage, while the M maximum referring to the moment acting on the beam at the service state. The eccentricity is referring to the distance between the neutral axis to the centroid of the tendon. In the case that there are more than one tendon, the eccentricity can be calculated separately with its respective pre-stressing load or the eccentricity can be determined based on the centroid of the total area of the tendon with respect to the total pre-stressing load. This slide compares the equations to determine the stress acting on the beam with or without eccentricity. When there is no eccentricity, this eccentricity part will be considered as zero. That gives the top being to undergo the stress governed by the axial and bending alone. Therefore, these equations will be same as these equations. The main difference between the equations is the existence of the eccentricity.